What's up guys? Jessa here uh, coming at you from Sycamore Ridge and today we're going to do some more rabbit work. So you guys saw behind all these branches, maybe that's part of the work we're going to do, is I got a new rabbit hutch and it dawned on me, that's a lie, it didn't dawn on me at all. My mom came over yesterday and she was looking at my new rabbit hutch and she goes, what are you going to do with that? Who are you putting in there? And I said, well, I'll probably put the two does in there. She took a look at it and she said, well, you might have problems because that wire that's on the bottom is really small. The openings are small. So it probably won't let the poo drop through. But it would probably let baby smaller rabbits, uh, their poo drop through. So change the plan. Uh, I took the divider out that I was working on, and I'm going to move the butcher rabbits, the bunny nuggets, into the big hutch. No divider, just put them all in there, and then I'm going to move the does into here. But to do that, uh, there's not really a good place for the feeders. I like the hanging feeders. Uh, they seem to work a little bit better. It's just more convenient. You don't have to get in there with them all the time. And they can't flip them over. So uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of modification to this cage. And while I'm at it, I'm going to do some mods to this one as well. So let's get after it. All right. So the first thing I want to do is put these feeders in. And they've got hooks so they can hook in. And this is just wide enough. I can put two right over here. This one's a little more narrow, so I got plenty of room for it. And hopefully, those will be big enough to keep these guys fed. If not, it's fine. I got plenty of plenty of feeders. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is take my wire cutters. These aren't very good. And trim open a hole so that I can slide this feeder in. Rabbits have access. I have access on the outside, and uh, and then that'll make things a lot easier. And then I've also got water, so I need to move over as well. Alright. So, I want to make sure that it's low enough they can get to it, but also high enough that they can't poop in it. That's the problem over there, and it's because the feeder is way too low. And so I want to make sure it's high enough off the floor that they can't quite so easily jump into it. But they're also going to be a little younger, so I want to make sure they can reach it as well. Let's make sure that looks right. Oh, there we go. One more wider. Like I can get one more lower. Hear your animals, and it sounds like they're somewhere they're not supposed to be. I could have swore the goat was in the garden. That would have been an adventure. All right, and then I don't know about these hooks. I could bend them a little bit. Cool. So we got one in. One will fit. And then this one. Quite a bit smaller. Can you 
hear you, Chuck. We hear ya. He doesn't think you guys can hear him. My sound quality's not very good, but I'm sure you can hear him. So now that one's good to go too. I just bent these out so I could hook them over that wire a little better. So we're good to go on that one. Now my water will fit. And that that one will fit right through. I got another one over there. It's just a little bit bigger. Let me make sure it'll fit. Alright. So this one's a little bigger. As you can see, so I'll cut a little hole for it. So I'll probably just, I'll uh, probably put one on each side here. So I'll trim this one. And again, don't want it too high, don't want it too low. had a piece of wire. I don't have a bottle cage for this one. That's all right. I'll go ahead and get both of these filled up before I get hung up. We'll be good to go. At least for now, wire is much longer than it needs to be, and my wire cutters kind of suck, so I wasn't even going to mess with them. So I got one there, and I'm going to put this one down here. <laughs> so now that one's good to go, too. some bunnies and then I think we'll be good to go so when I bought this rabbit hutch uh, it came with those feeders and uh, a few water bottles and then a, a whole bucket of feed so this is just like a cat litter bucket I'm sure you guys see those all the time but it works awesome to tote rabbit feed back and forth because I still keep the feed in the rabbit barn where most of the rabbits are and then I just tote this back and forth with some feed and some uh, calf mana in it. So I'll go get it filled up so I can get those bunnies moved. All right, so I got my rabbit feed. I keep them in these metal uh, trash cans to keep like rats and stuff out of here. Um, for some reason, I've had like a re-infestation of mice. The cats are all over it, but they seem to outpopulate the cats or the cats aren't carrying their weight. I don't know. I've seen the cats catch a mouse and then release. We are not running a catch and release program here. So anyway, that's something nifty to have that around. I definitely need to get more rabbit feed since I was on vacation. I haven't really stocked back up on everything. Now what I've got in there. I started giving the 
rabbits, and I don't think I've mentioned it yet, is a product called Path Mana. And it is like a nice little boost. It's got all sorts of nutrients in it and stuff. And maybe I did talk about it, but it's worth mentioning again. So it's got uh, crude protein. That's 25% of it right there. And then uh, lysine, methane. I don't know what all this crap is. High quality proteins to help the growth. Digestible carbohydrates for energy. Um, it's got that uh, sweet smell. Um, the animals really go crazy over it. Uh, the only animal I haven't seen really go crazy over it is Ed. I, for whatever reason, he will eat it. He's kind of got used to it now. Uh, it's got brewer's dried yeast um, to help with digestion. And then linseed meal for improved coat. And I've definitely noticed since I started feeding this to the butcher rabbits that they do seem to grow a little faster and they just overall look a lot healthier. So I've been sprinkling it in with the does with babies and the growing babies. Every now and then I'll give a little bit to a buck uh, if he's looking a little sad or whatever or just like as a treat. Um, you can give it to a little bit of everybody. They've got uh, cows, horses, goats. I do give a little bit to the goats. Uh, deer, hogs, boars. Uh, a little bit. You need to give a little bit to your poultry as well. So I give it to the rabbits and the goats on occasion. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit in there. Kind of mix it in. Mix it in with their feet a little bit. Um, the recommended dosage for rabbits, uh, of course you don't want to give them too much. For growing rabbits, it says one teaspoon a day, and for lactating rabbits, one tablespoon per day. So that's the recommended feeding. Need to get more of that too. So looks like I'm going to be making a trip to the feed store here pretty soon. So we got our food for everybody. Let's head back up and get it ready for the baby. I need a bigger spoon. All right, now we're all full feed. We got water. Now we just need baby bunny. The one thing you might have noticed about uh, this hutch over here is it's got hatch pans underneath it. And I, I don't really see a ton of value. Man, I missed one branch, didn't I? I don't really see a ton of value in that hatch pan uh, because I am so close to the garden. There's these boards underneath here, too that uh, I think they just stored stuff underneath. So I'm gonna give it a trial. It's a lot of rabbits in there. I'll see how it fills up, but I will probably, and probably take those boards off of there and then just let uh, the fertilizer drop to the ground and scoop it into the garden like I do everything else. But the rabbits seem to be enjoying it. Now I need to modify this other thing. <laughs> So you've heard me talk about this cage before, that it's kind of wonky, and it's been kind of bad luck. I've lost several rabbits out of it. So one of the modifications that I've done already is I added a little bit of cage wire because and they can still get their head through this gap. So if I move the bigger does in here, that will be a bonus, is I won't have to worry about them escaping. The other thing 
I just recently had happen was one of them got their foot caught uh, in the floor mesh, must have slipped or something, and it didn't look like anybody pulled on it, but they, they ended up dying. It's probably a win-win uh, with moving the butcher rabbits over there and then moving the does in here. I think that'll be all right. I don't have to worry about the does escaping because they're going to be bigger and I don't have to worry about their feet falling through because they're going to be bigger. But a couple of things I do want to change are the way the feeders are set up. If you look right here, like I said earlier, they're too low. Uh, the baby rabbits were getting inside of them and pooping and they'd get stuck inside. And so uh, the other thing is if they're too low, sometimes they'll scratch that feed out instead of just eating it. So I'm going to get these uh, wired up a little bit higher. But one thing is I always have to hold this stupid thing open. If I push it clear back, it'll flop the lid clear back into the garden. So I'm going to go find a stick to hold the darn thing up. All right, so I found one of Melissa's uh, pallet boards there, and that should do the trick for holding this up so that I can work on it. So you can see I still have uh, feed trays in here for them, and uh, then I just use the water dishes. And I've got some more water bottles that I might move over here, but for the time being, I'll just leave the water dishes uh, for the does when they come in here. So it looks like I've got old rusty wire holding that together. I'll see if my crappy dull wire cutters will do the trick. I got one anyway. Now I see that it's not only attached by the wire, but it's got these tabs, tabs attached to it as well. So I think uh, more modification may be needed. All right, got the one undone. So all I really want to do is raise it up just a tad, probably about like that. Well, I got one side done and I didn't even have to go get more wire. So you can see I raised it up uh, just a little bit. This one is still low. So you can kind of see what I mean, that it's just a little too low. Good go. It's a little bit higher, not dragging on the ground. While I'm here, I'll go ahead and clean this out. All right, so I got this one prepped, ready to go, and now all I need is a couple of rabbits in here, so I'm going to go get them. We got both hutches modified up so we can hold all the butcher rabbits in this one. Hopefully, it looks like their poo's falling through, but now I see that it looks like uh, they're still digging in their feed, so I'm going to have to check on that. And we got Annie and Misery outside. I still have one coop that's right underneath. I don't know why I keep saying coop, y'all. I still have one hut right underneath you guys that I got the camera on that I can move somebody out here. And then, of course, the one that's still in the rabbit barn. So slowly but surely, I'm getting everybody moved out here by the garden. But right now, projects are done. Subscribe to keep posted on all the happenings with the rabbits. Hope you learned something here and there along the way. And I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Catch you on the next video.